Chapman is your election news leader. A week after the Texas primary, a conservative political action committee presented an analysis of the GOP ballots. KLTV7's Lauren Tier has a closer look at their takeaways. When analyzing the GOP primary results, Executive Director of Grassroots America, We the People, Joanne Fleming, says there is a specific section they use as a strong indicator of campaign issues that resonate most with Republican voters in Texas. We like to say that the Republican primary propositions is the best opinion poll that any Republican elected official can use to know what the people are asking them to do. Voting on the proposition question does not change or create any new law. Of the 13 propositions on this year's ballot, five focused on illegal immigration and citizenship. Securing the border, repelling illegal immigration. Mentioned in Proposition 2, which asks for the creation of a border protection unit and allows the use of physical force to prevent illegal entry. 91% of Republican voters voted yes. Making sure that we don't support that our Texas delegation to the United States Congress do not support a pathway to citizenship or amnesty. Which is the focus of Proposition 5, urging Congress to deny any form of amnesty or pathway to citizenship. 84% of voters voted yes. Proposition 1 focused on the elimination of all property taxes, with 78% of the Republicans voting yes. All 13 received more than 70% yes votes. The main thing that I got out of this entire primary process is how well uh, versed in the issues, and not only in the issues, not only the problems, but the solutions that we're seeing in candidates today. And that is just, you know, that's wonderful. Lauren Tier, KLTV 7 News. To see that full list of the proposition results, scan the QR code that you see here on your screen or go to KLTV.com and click on the big red box. It is right there on our homepage.